Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, when Cucumber is used in automation projects in real time? Let me answer. Development projects in real time may either go for traditional development approach or BDD approach. So what is the problem in the traditional development and what is the advantage of using this BDD approach as part of development projects? Let me explain that first. So there are two things. One is traditional developments. Okay, the general development projects follow this traditional development. So if they follow this traditional development approach for developing the software and all, what is the problem? And there are some projects which go for this uh, BDD approach, behavior driven development approach. Okay. So behavior driven development approach. Okay. BDD approach. So this is BDD approach. So what is the advantage of uh, going for this uh, BDD approach? And what is the problem with the traditional ap approach, traditional development approach? In the traditional approach, uh, the focus point is, okay, the focus point is how to develop the software, how to develop, okay? No matter what you are developing, whether you are developing the uh, automation scripts or whether you are developing the software here, the question is how to develop, okay? The focus of this traditional development is more on how to develop. How to develop means how to develop it, okay? Which tools we have to use, okay? Which uh, frameworks we have to use, which architectures we have to use, what is the skill set required, Okay, what is the skill set required? How many resources required? Okay, count of resources. What is, uh, in how much time we can complete? All these things are how to develop. But this traditional development is missing one thing that is what to develop. Okay, so the complete fo more focus is more, uh, the less focus is on. Here I'm not saying the focus is not there on what to develop, but uh, here the focus is there, but less focus. We cannot even call it as focus. So what to develop is, uh, they know it, but they are not focusing it, okay? Here, they are putting less focus on what to develop, okay? But how to develop, they are putting full focus. The problem with this approach or development, uh, traditional development approach is, so there is a possibility that if the client asks to develop a circle, okay, the development team may produce or deliver a square or rectangle, okay? So whatever the product that is expected is not delivered here, okay? Even though they are for, um, using some good tools, frameworks, architecture, skill set, and all those stuff, but still a wrong product is getting delivered here because the focus is not there on what to develop here. The focus is not much there on what to develop and uh, complete more or more, more amount of focus is on how to develop. But the, this problem is resolved in this BDD approach, uh, the projects development projects which follow this BDD approach has this problem resolved where the main focus is on what to develop, okay? The remaining all things will come later, okay? All these things like tools, frameworks, architectures and all those stuff on how to develop will be given the second priority where the utmost high priority is given for what to develop, okay? So the behavior of the application is given more importance, okay? So for the customers to accept it, okay? For the end users to accept the software, okay? The focus need to be on what to develop, okay? If the client is asking for a circle, the possibility of delivering a circle is high in this BDD approach because the focus is more on what to develop. The All the different teams like, uh, you know, uh, developers, testers, business team, Everything will communicate more on what to develop, okay? They won't discuss more on how to develop, but they rather discuss more on what to develop and complete process of developing, testing, and whatever it is there in this uh, BDD approaching, uh, approach following projects, will be focusing on behavior, okay? Behavior uh, of what the software is expected to be, okay? What the behavior of the software to be expected, uh, all these things are given more importance and these things will drive the remaining activities like testing activities, development activities and all those stuff, okay? And the communication is more between this B business team, developers and testers because of this reason in this BDD approach uh, implementing projects, okay? Now you got an idea that uh, why development projects uh, have to choose BDD approach, okay? So acceptance is important, okay? Acceptance of the software by the real end users is very important. That's where the BDD approach uh, uh, drive this project activities, okay? Fine, behavior will, uh, behavior of the software will drive the project, okay? Rather than tools and all, behavior, okay? The focus is given on behavior, how the software should behave, okay? That's the main point. So, so uh, to understand uh, this uh, BDD, right? Uh, to implement this BDD otherwise, okay? Uh, to put it in a different way, to implement this BDD, okay? we use a tool known as Cucumber. Cucumber is one of the tool in the market, okay, which implements BDD approach in the projects, okay? If you want to implement a BDD, especially in test automation and all, 
to implement this BDD approach in our uh, test automation, Selenium automation and all, we need a tool known as Cucumber. Okay, Cucumber is a tool which implements BDD approach in the projects. That's another thing. So you understood, right? When we have to go for uh, Cucumber in real time in automation projects and all, when the project, uh, main purpose of the project is behavior, okay? When the project is focusing more on behavior of the software and giving the second priority to how it need to be developed rather than what to be developed is given more importance. Such kind of projects uh, will use Cucumber, okay? Such kind of projects uh, which are inclined to that kind of mindset where behavior should be given more importance, okay? While developing the software and all and performing different activities, such kind of projects will use Cucumber in real time. That's the main answer I can give. And uh, to automate the testing of the actual behavior of the application, okay? So uh, in such kind of projects, if you are automating, let's say, okay, if you are automating that functionality of the software, so we are going to consider behavior as a, uh, behavior of the software as the highest priority. In such cases, we need to use this tool known as Cucumber tool to implement that kind of BDD automation approach in our automation projects, okay? To automate the testing of the actual behavior here as part of this BDD uh, automation and all those stuff, we are automating the testing of the actual behavior of the application, okay? The scenarios that you are writing, for example, in this case, uh, one of the behavior we have written here in the login.feature file, okay? So you see, this is one of the behavior of the application. What the behavior is, user should be able to log in with valid credentials is the behavior, okay? Then otherwise the applications of functionality cannot be accepted, right? Such kind of behaviors are given more importance and these things we are automating, okay? We are testing the behavior of the application, okay? We are automating, otherwise in automation, we are automating the testing of actual behavior of the application. Here, this particular thing can be considered as a test case for testing the behavior of the application, okay? And we are automating this test case, which is testing the actual behavior of the application. Hope you got the idea. And also, as a side effect of this BDD approach, I cannot, I'm just, uh, saying in that way, but uh, it's a good way. Uh, that is non-technical stakeholders like business or business analysts can and also understand the work that is going on, okay? If you are writing your automation scripts in this fashion, like anyone can understand, you see in plain English, it is there. Uh, not only the technical team like testers or developers can understand, but also the business team can also understand and they can see through our work, what we are working on and all, okay? That is another side effect or another advantage we got from the major advantage, uh, okay? Uh, of this BDD approach implementation in our automation projects. So hope guys you understood uh, when Cucumber is used in automation projects in real time, the simple straightforward main advantage is if the project main intention is to focus more on uh, working on the behavior of the application or testing the behavior of the application or automating the testing of the behavior of the application. In such projects, we use BDD approach, okay? Because the focus of the application is more on the Focus of the development of the application is more on the behavior, checking the behavior and all, okay? Working towards the behavior or achieving the behavior, what the end user needs, okay? In such kind of projects, uh, as part of automation, we use Cucumber tool. Cucumber is a tool which implements the BD approaches in our automation projects and all. And as a side effect advantage, we are also getting this additional advantage where even stakeholders uh, like uh, non-technical stakeholders like business analysts and business team can also understand what's going in the, what, uh, what, amount, what work uh, the testers are doing, what activities the testers are automating, because these automation scripts are written in a plain English, okay? That's why. So hope guys you got the answer for this question. You can answer this in your own way, okay? Hope you got the idea what uh, is the uh, real reason behind that. With this reason, you can answer in the interviews, okay? In your own way, in your own words. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.